been watching a um, a lot of Tony Robbins lately. I'm going through something. It's good. And um, today I was watching his one of his tours and watching him do his interventions. And a lot of stuff, I mean, stuff's been clicking all week since I started doing his morning meditation routine. Things have been changing and processing in my head. And um, I'm hearing these accounts and these struggles that people are going through. And I'm watching how he interacts with them. And I'm hearing and seeing myself in a lot of different ways. And the hardships these people are facing, I'm, I'm seeing my own challenges. And... In watching Tony read the room, I'm seeing how I used to interact with my students. I used to think all the time, I don't teach. I just talk to my kids about their problems. I get them to open up to me and, uh, you know, kind of read their body language and guide them to where they need to be. And I loved it. I was helping people. And I, I see it the passion coming through as he's talking to people about that and, and evaluating them and just, he says it right there. He's, when the body language changes, he recognizes it. And I'm recognizing it as I'm watching it. It's not an ego statement. It's just resonating with me because I know that I'm happy when I'm able to do that, to help people on that level, to get them to open up and talk and, and work to their own conclusions and solutions. So it's feeling a pull in that direction again. And then he's interviewing people about the problems that they have in life. And he interviewed a mother-daughter. And the daughter came off like a bitch, and the mom came off like she was incompetent. And he's going through talking to both of them, and then all of a sudden he goes, I remember you. You were here several years ago. You lost a child. And they played a clip, and she talked about how she lost her 16-year-old child. She was sick. They took her to the hospital. And the hospital said she's going to be okay, and they sent her home. And then she died at home. And he asked her what her spiritual beliefs were. And she says, well, I've always believed. And he says, not what you always believe. What do you believe? And she had a tough time answering it. And then she finally spit it out. She said, I always believe that if God closes one door, he opens a better one. But nobody was better than my daughter. And as soon as she said that, I started crying. Like, not tears in my eyes. Like, it was a release of emotion that has been there for a long time. It, it spoke to the core of, I think... A lot of my challenges. Because I don't understand if there's a God out there. Why he took my dad in the way that he did. And what Tony told her. You know he says. But what are you passing on to your children now? And I worry about that every day. As a father. So I thought I was good. I thought I composed myself. And my wife comes home and looks at my face. She says, why were you crying? And I said, I'm not. And then I tried to talk. And I was laughing hysterically with tears in my eyes. Because that emotion was just coming out. And that laughing, my, now my children are looking at me. And that laughing turned into just sobbing in my driveway. 
just deep. It wasn't sad. It was just a release of emotion. It was it was big. I still feel like I could cry. I don't think to that level, but I'm still trying to understand it. But I was I felt like I was cra I I have never not been in control of my emotions. And the harder I tried to hide that I was crying from my wife, first the harder I laughed. And then when I tried to stop laughing, the harder I cried. I I don't... I released something. I don't know what. There's still more to come out. I can feel it. Um, I can't remember the last time I felt emotion like that.